So they came and began to teach, no, the reality of that pot is that it should be nothing. It should take a path in which to enter its nothingness. So that Allah can begin to plant what Allah wants to plant within that reality. In its nothingness its reality appears and the firmness of its reality will begin to appear. If the pot understood to be nothing Allah will not grow yourself into it but Allah's realities and haqqaiqs like the roses. They begin to grow only when this vase understands that it's nothing then the beatific reality begins to appear. Once the beatific reality appears then no matter how much you make it ornate and how much you make it beautiful it doesn't matter at least it understood in its nothingness for Allah's flowers and beauties to appear. The material world they're stuck on themselves. They're stuck on the beauty of their pot and what they think they know, what they think they achieve and yet never took a path in which to train to be nothing. So then Allah inspired all His creation and Sayyidina Muhammad being the, the cream of that reality, the, the pinnacle of that reality just in the huruf of Malik al-Hayat. Wal Malik al Dunya, Mim Ha, Malik al Hayat, Mim Dal, Malik al Dunya, the king of this dunya. That Allah inspired all creation, no matter what I gave to you, come back to the port, whatever I gave to you of title, whatever I gave to you of position, whether I gave you to be a prophet, whether I gave you to be a king, whether I gave you to be a merchant. Whether I gave you to be nothing, these are just the decor of your pot, be nothing. Means then they approach that reality through the dal. The mim ha, mim dal, the mim to the right is the Divinely Presence, the closest towards the heavens. So you approach from the left going to the right. So if you Give this I can show this side too, they know mim ha mim dal it's easy. This is the, this the easy one inshaAllah, no just the, the, the cardboard shape. Thank you. So mim ha mim dal, where are we? Mim ha mim dal, you approach from this dal. Means the reality of the dal is Dalai al Khirat. He's the best of guides. When Allah want all creation that, that come to this sultanat, come to this reality, that come to this dal, He is the guide for all creation. So we recite Dalai al Khirat as a part of our awrad that it has uh, the best of guidance. And it's an ancient reality from Allah So you have to come to the guide of Allah That guidance of Allah when they begin to say, Ya Rabbi I want to be guided in this dunya, Allah begin to reveal to them the king and the sultanat of this dunya. And that everything is under that sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad That that Malik and the king of all of this mulk that is appearing, everything of the world of form. The king of that is Sayyidina Muhammad Means then at that point in their marifa they understood there must be a king, there must be a representative on, on this earth and there must be a khalifa and Allah revealed to all his holy books there is a khalifa, there's only one khalifa. And many agents and representatives for that Khalifa. So then we take from the example of the Prophets of Allah whom were given the highest reality. Means they were given the highest and the greatest honor. When Nabi Musa reached to that door 
because they, they were given the reality of dunya, not the reality of their akhirah yet. Everyone is on this road of marifa. When a Nabi of Allah he's a guide and through guiding his people and Allah guiding himself that his own marifa comes now the pot that no matter what I gave to you because they are the highest example so that everyone lower can understand, lower yourself, be nothing. If a Nabi of Allah is saying, I'm speaking to Allah Ya Rabbi let me to see you, I want to see who I'm talking to. And Allah said, there's no way for you to see me, I'll show you my glory. And as soon as Nabi Musa went to go see that glory to recognize that reality, Allah revealed His glory upon the mountain and Nabi Musa out like death, like passed out. The tajalli of what was seen and the reality of what was seen obliterated every aspect of the character and the nafs completely obliterated. At that time Nabi Musa witnessed what Allah wanted his Prophet to witness. He witnessed the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Nur Muhammad From witnessing that reality come back to say that my life, my death, everything and awwal al-Muslimin. I mean take the shahada and the understanding that I'm the first of the Muslims, I'm first of those who submit myself of what I saw of this reality. He witnessed the reality and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad At that time moving and teaching that from what I witness in my soul of the king of this sultanate, the king of the heavens, Ya Rabbi I won't stop until where these two rivers meet. The two rivers, awliyaullah come and teach is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah I will not stop until these two rivers where they meet means where La ilaha illallah hey wow points to meme of the Muhammad Means from the who of Allah we direct itself to Muhammadun Rasulullah enough for us to understand that it directed the who directed itself to the meme. The kalima was showing Sayyidina Musa that if you want where these two haqqaiqs are meeting its door is Muhammadun Rasulullah that who is the reality of the ha of this mim ha. Because now from the dal of guidance he came to the haqqaiq of the mim of Sayyidina Muhammad that lost everything of himself, emptied his pot, means no matter what title I have, what birthright I have, whoever I think I am, you're nothing in the presence of Prophet Be nothing, take a path in of nothingness. They have to be trained in that path of nothingness. At that time Prophet will open, now come to the hayat, come to my ha because I am Malik al-Hayat, I am the king of everything that is given a life. Every ocean of hayat exists within this reality, everything that given a life is existing within that and Prophet is the king and the owner of that reality. So it means if we want to reach towards that reality, this love of Prophet is essential for everything. That they're entering into that reality, they're understanding the Sultanate of Prophet and then Allah begin to inspire that this ocean of eternal life, this ocean of reality of hayat, you have to enter into that hayat. You have to enter into where the two rivers meet. The sign for Nabi Musa was where the dead fish came to life and jumped into the spring. And same for Sayyidina Isa all the Prophets of Allah they relinquished their title 
for the greater reality. And Sayyidina Isa salam, Ya Rabbi from what you gave to me of realities don't let me to die without taking my shahada from Sayyidina Muhammad Allah accepted the du'a of Sayyidina Isa salam and kept him alive to witness Prophet to witness that reality to be under Ummat Muhammad that I don't want that title for myself, the greatest title is to be under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad means then they were taken to the oceans of Al-Hayat. That these khatam and these zikrs that awliyaullah are authorizing these associations, they are like we described last night when we were talking to some people, they're like a, what, what is that, like a tram, a shuttle that from there's one seat here and through a wire it goes all the way into the Malakut. Everybody boards that tram, as soon as the zikr starts, these awliyaullah who are in charge of these oceans of al-hayat, everything that being recited in the zikr is addressed upon the soul. Your body may be sitting here, don't understand why is it sitting here, maybe it's hungry for dinner, <laughs> they don't care. This is a reality of the soul. As soon as they begin the zikr, the soul entered their tram, entered their ship. And this ship now is moving. As it's moving, it's moving towards the presence of Malik al-Hayat. When they're making the zikr of Hu, when they're making the zikr of Hay, when they make the, the zikr of Qayyum, all of these are dress upon the soul. As soon as they say, Hay, Hay, the souls are being dumped into the oceans of Hayat being washed into the oceans of Hayat. As soon as they say Qayyum takes it out and puts it into the oceans of eternity. The haqq of Allah is Hayyu al-Qayyum, Ha of al-Hayat, Qaf of Qayyum. The haqq of Allah is the reality of the soul. Just as it from the Hay, just as it from the Qayyum, every zikr that being made by their authority is a dress upon the soul. These are, these are like trams that taking people into the malakut. These are not for entertainment purposes. These awliyaullah are guiding through the soul these realities and they begin to teach on this tram, this is the way of marifa. That don't for a moment think that you are moving now into the presence of Allah Allah far beyond anything that can be imagined. This ocean of realities of hayat, it's not Allah Allah is beyond hay because Allah described, we created hay and might, we created life and death to test you. Allah is not hay, is not my, Allah not death and not life. Life and death is for us that we are from creation. So this Malik al-Hayat is a reality and a soul that Allah created. And they're taking us on these zikrs and on this way of marifa to dress us from that ocean of hayat. And when they reach the meme of Sayyidina Muhammad Bahr al-Muhit, that that meme of Malakut, of Mulk, all, <laughs> all of them Allah encoded for us to understand. Why is it called Malakut? It's Prophet Why is it called mulk? It's Prophet Everything has a meme, every reality of that reality has a meme. At that time when they were dressed in the oceans of Hayat, they blessed from the oceans of Al Hayat, Allah then begin to open for him this reality of Malakut, this Bahrul Muhit. This last meme is an all encompassing meme of Muhammadun Rasulullah. That every creation exists within that meme. Can I have that again too? Outside of that meme is not for us, that's La illallah. Everything is existing in this meme of Muhammadun Rasulullah Out here, La ilaha illallah means don't look here, this is not your place. You are from creation, we are from creation. This 
Bahr al-Muhit that everything exists within this mim is creation. Everything else is Allah's realities that have nothing to do with us. Everything is in this mim. Everything must be found within this mim. Outside is La ilaha illallah. Now Allah says, don't look to here, this is not your reality. Don't contemplate the Creator but contemplate the creation. And the best of creation is Muhammadun Rasulullah So the sultan and the soul that encompasses every reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah described, that is the king and I sit upon his throne, I sit upon his heart. Means Izzatullah and the might of Allah sits upon the heart and the soul of Prophet that's why those hadith. When Allah talking about Qalb al-Mu'min, Baytullah, He's not talking about us. Although we'd like to think that but <laughs> in, the, in the haqqaiq and the highest part of the reality it's… And Allah say, I'm not on heavens and I'm not anywhere on earth, I'm only on the heart of my believer. The only believer for Allah that contains every reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah So this big reality, this soul that awliyaullah describe as a soul in Sana Kamil that everything is within that soul and that reality. The power of that qalb because we can't understand other than our physical, the power of that reality is Allah The power of that reality is Allah and that's why the heart of that reality, Manzil al-Qur'an. Manzil al-Qur'an is coming out from the heart of that reality. Every reality is flowing from the heart of that reality. So then imagine the power of Mawlid the nabi When we don't understand the greatness of our Messenger we don't have any understanding of the greatness of the reality. So only Allah comes and say, first thing to do is establish the milad so that Allah will begin to open all of these realities that everything within that ocean and that Allah might and majesty sit upon the heart of that reality and that everything emanating from that reality and then we begin to understand our Nabi Ahmad that reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad that meme that everything is within that, now begin to contemplate the huruf. If the meme is all encompassing, what remains inside is a hamd. If the meme is all encompassing, what remains inside is a hamd. So then what's the power of this creation? Hamd. Yusabbihu wa bi hamdi. Bi hamdi. Awliyaullah come and tell that if, if you think Allah's praise is empowering this creation, Allah clarifies, if, if I praise and release my Qur'an onto a mountain, it will be qashya, it will be dust. So if you think Allah's Allah zikr is keeping the flowers, it would have annihilated all creation. If Allah's zikr came onto the moon, it would have annihilated the moon. If Allah's zikr came upon the earth, it would have annihilated, nothing can contain the dhikr of Allah the qul of Allah nothing can contain it except the qalb of Sayyidina Muhammad Because that qul is only to the ba and the reality of Prophet who contains the secret of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That only one who can contain and hold what Allah orders and zikr and hamd 
is the reality of Prophet then the Muhammad begins to praise and all creation is in that reality. The power of Prophet's praising is sustaining. The power of Allah's praise sustains Prophet and the hamd of Prophet sustains creation. Don't make you dizzy. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir surat al-Fatiha.